Hi everybody, welcome to Developing a CV, Mastering Cover Letters. This particular resource is going to support learners to write cover letters that work. And it's going to do that in four ways. Number one, identifying the skills and dispositions requested in job advertisements. Two, providing a structure to learners. And three, using the structure to construct a cover letter. And finally, in number four, we're going to look at writing and reworking the letter. The first activity is to help learners to identify the required skills that are in the job advertisements. And this will help them write better cover letters as we go on. So to make this fun, a good way to do it is to have learners get together in groups and then hand out job advertisements to each of those groups. And then as they work through each job advertisement, you want them to take down the skills, record the skills that they think are going to be needed for that job. They'll be overtly stated in the advertisement, but they'll also be inferred a little bit. So we want the learners to begin to infer them and the kind of personality traits that are gonna be wanted for this job. They can also record the job title and the hiring company on the paper just to help them recognize that this is an important aspect of the task. In number three, once all the groups have finished, work through the adverts as a whole class and generate a discussion about those skills. And you'll be recording these on the board and in the end what you'll be left with is a large resource of skills on the board that we can come back to soon. So here's an example of a job advert and how you might uh, coach learners through it. If we look at the third paragraph there, we can see that this is a job for someone who likes to work hard, who likes to be busy and wants to be rewarded by further training and career opportunities. So you might begin to focus the learners on what kind of person this job is really for and what kind of person it isn't. And then as we move down into the next paragraph, you can see that they list some specific skills there, particularly around experience with boxing, string lines and working with levels. And so it sounds like there's going to be concrete used or building and construction and so on. It gives a little bit more insight into what the job might be. So you'd make a list of the skills and also the dispositions that they want, hard workers, motivated and so on. So now that we've looked at the skills that are within job advertisements, we can begin to think about what we need to put into our cover letter. Because remembering, of course, our cover letter is designed to complement the job advert. So providing the structure for the learners. Well, the way I do it is I just ask the learners, you know, what do they think should go into a cover letter and do a brainstorm and ask them. And they might say things like contact details, name, why you want the job, what job you're applying for, and skills, and so on and so on. Now, once they get to skills, then you can very quickly align the skills with the job description. So it just makes the point, yes, we have to include all of this information, and we also want to include these skills directly from the job advert into the cover letter. Now that we've covered those steps, the idea is to get the learners beginning to construct their cover letter. And a really good way to do this is to use a writing frame. Now there are lots of writing frames available. Here's one that's been used successfully in the industry for a little while. And the idea is that it has four main paragraphs. And the last paragraph is really only one sentence. And remembering of course that you want to keep this on one page if at all possible. And the idea is the learners just work through each of these sections. They can start out writing things fairly broadly and as time goes on they'll begin to refine these into more concise paragraphs. So paragraph number one is simply why are you writing? And this is where you tell the employer what job you're applying for, where and when it was advertised and why you want the job. Now paragraph number two is really the most important paragraph. And this answers the question, why should they hire you? So this is really where you sell yourself to the employer. You tell them what value you're going to add to their company. And you can also mitigate any lack of skills. So if you don't have all the skills that they are looking for, you can begin to give them reasons why they should employ you anyway. You're great at learning. You're a hard worker. You're dedicated and so on. And you want to clump those skills together. Don't be too specific, but keep them broad and really let them know what you bring to the table. Paragraph number three is where you provide all of your availability details to the employer. So this would be when you're able to start work, when you can be contacted, when you're able to have an interview, and the kinds of hours that you'd be able to work. And remember, you want to make life as easy as possible for the employer. So the more barriers you can remove out of the way, the more likely you are to have success. Now paragraph number four is really again a single sentence. And this is where you reaffirm your skills, motivation, and work ethic in one final epic sentence. This might be the last sentence they read of you before moving on to the CV. 
So you want to make this a great sentence and just sum up why they should hire you. And then it's always good to thank them for their time. And then you'd end with a yours sincerely and so on. Number four and the final thing, writing and rewriting the letter. Now here's a couple of ideas I've got and I've used these in class and they've been pretty successful. Idea one is you have the learners write two separate letters. So maybe they do one on day one and then you get them to put that away and not lock it up. And on the next day they write a completely new one. So they now have two letters. And then they put the two together, they highlight their favorite phrases and components, and you just merge the two. And then you might repeat that process. Idea number two is to cut the word limit. This requires the learners to consolidate ideas, eliminate redundancies, and to be concise. So you just say, uh, normally it's one page for a cover letter, uh, but you might make the word count far smaller than that, perhaps only 300 words. And so from doing that, the learner will be consolidating and making the writing better. And then they can integrate that back into their original letter. So in summary, we want to support learners to write cover letters that work. And that doesn't mean that cover letters are perfect. It means that it aligns perfectly with what the employer wants. And there's some resonance there between the cover letter and the employer. Mm -hmm.